we have four dimensions that is zero dimension, one dimension, two dimension and three dimension. So what is zero dimension? I would like to give you an example. A person comes to you and tells you to find the dimension of a point. How do you find the dimension of a point? Do you have ruler to measure it or do you have tape? Nothing. We cannot find the dimension or the length or anything for a point and thus it is known as zero dimension. We can conclude that this particular dimension or this particular point has no measurement and hence it has no length and thus there is no way you can measure it hence it is known as zero dimension. Now take a ruler and draw a line. When you draw a line you will be knowing the measurement but is there anything that you want to know more to get to know about that line? No. It is just this particular length that is required to know the measurement of the line and thus only one dimension is required. Hence the line is known as one dimensional quantity. Now consider the one dimensional line. Now let us draw another line perpendicular to the one dimensional line. We get two lines that are perpendicular to each other. Now consider the space. This particular space between these two lines is known as two dimensional space. To study about this two dimensional space, let us take a part from this dimensional space and then we get a small part that looks something like this, a closed figure. Oh, this looks something similar. This is nothing but a rectangle. Thus we can conclude that any part that comes or that we can take out from this two dimensional space is a closed figure and these are the figures that you actually know, squares, rectangles triangles etc are two dimensional quantities. Now let us add one more dimension to these two lines that is somewhat like this. And now we have three lines that are 90 degrees to each other. It looks like collaboration of L's right. So since they are all 90 degrees to each other and there are three lines we can consider this to be a three dimension because any space that lies between these three lines is known as the three dimensional space. As we took a small part from the two dimensional space, let us take a small part from this three dimensional space. When we take a small part, we get some solid figure. This solid figure has length, breadth as well as height, which is another dimension included from the previous. Now considering a square to be the 2D quantity, the next form of 2D is nothing but 3D and thus the next form of square is known as cube and hence there are many figures that you actually know in your daily life such as your geometry box etc. 